Where we play Penn State. I don't know if you've seen the clip or not. Break this down because this is important for kids. You know, really. <laughs> yeah, this, the yeah, this, this is really... the this is the worst thing you can do as a player. Um, we're playing Penn State on ABC. Big game. They had just scored a touchdown. Bo Pelini said something to somebody else, but I thought he was talking to me. Being a young, simple-minded kid, yeah. prideful, and you know, just not knowing how to react to authority for because sure. I'm raised by a single mom. Like, you know what I'm saying? There wasn't really a figure like that now. Yeah. So a man yelling at me is like, hold on, I'm the only man in this house. Like, sure you know enough. what I'm saying? So Bo, tell, Bo says that and then I like spin and I we have our little words and I'm like pointing at him in his face. You know what I'm saying? Like arguing, woo woo. And the whole world's watching. It's yeah. literally, they go, to, they go to commercial break. Like, you know what I'm saying? They replay <laughs> it. Like, it is. The next week, Desmond Howard's talking about it. <laughs> uh, game day. Like I'm sitting there getting ready for whoever we play next week, Michigan, and whoever. Watching and I'm watching me look crazy on Damn. tv and the worst part about it i love bo like you know what i'm saying he guy. even co he even covered for me yeah. after the game it was like oh what was that with you and Shafford? he's like oh oh nothing that's you know it's part of the game yeah. yeah everything that you do leading up to draft right it could be uncovered yeah I, I remember having nfl coaches reach out to our counselors at norco reach yep. out to high school coaches yep. like colleges right different things like that but all that stuff that you do in high school college and the nfl it, yeah. it's dug it's dug up you know yeah. how you act on the field how you communicate with the coach um what you do on campus like their job they hire fbi their uh, their job is to find everything about a player possible For sure. uh, before they go and give millions of dollars I will test you in the worst way Don't bring a scan, trying to pop quizzes all day Cause of our chemistry, we do biology What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving Subscribe or die trying You see the thumbnail More importantly, you saw that clip um, I'm gonna use it as an example for, for a bigger thing Because there's a lot of young men and grown men Who have this thing where on one end, they run their mouth unnecessarily, and then they find themselves in a situation. And on another end, they they you, they got to see how they actually act to go, oh, oh, that that that's that's why I'm getting the, the response I'm getting. That's what oh okay, you know, or even um. As he said, like he loved, you know, I got he got loves for for his coach bowl, whatever. Even when you pull that stunt, you might still have love for somebody, but the stunt you pull might forever change if they got love for you. I'm not saying that happened with him though. Okay. So the first thing is, and I, and the reason why I said it, because it, it's a good sports reference. He the, he said, you know, coach wasn't even talking to him. And he interjected itself and got in an argument. He's like, you know, he's not accustomed to authority because he's raised by a single mother, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, yo, you know, you ain't gonna, you watch who you talk to me. And here's the issue in that aspect. Sometimes when young, when men, young men to grown men were raised by a lot of women who are mouthy, they become mouthy. And what happens is, the issue is, if you in the wrong, you got to fix that, right? So when you in the wrong and you go the extra mile to be disrespectful after that, people know, okay, I'm going to have to do something to you. And this is what I mean. Um, I've been places where I'm doing me, mine and my business. And, and I, and I got really good ears. So, I can hear another grown man making a catty, bitchy comment about something that's not their business. It's my business. And I've had, there, there's been times where I had to, had to actually address the dude, hey man, how about you mind your business before I knock your fucking ass out out here? And then it's like, who you talking to? And then I got to, you, shut the fuck up. Like I got to, I really got to, and then it's like, Man, I was just, I was just minding, minding somebody else's business. That's what you was just doing. I don't give a fuck about your opinion because your opinion don't matter because I ain't come here to t see you or talk to you. I don't even fucking know you. Watch your mouth or you don't have a mouth to talk with. You get what I'm saying? Because people don't realize that catty bitchy stuff, 
you don't you don't know who you're talking to and you don't and you might interject yourself in a conversation that you might not be able to get yourself out of all right that's one thing another thing because let me tell you let me tell you what i mean because a lot of times when you're around mildly when you're raised by mildly people when you're a child and, and you get the and you man, talking to you but man you don't say nothing to me usually an older person smack the shit out of you like shut your ass up you know they, you learn not to run your mouth like that or, or not to interject yourself in something that ain't your business the second thing um when he would you know how can i put this when he had to see himself like when he when he saw like he had moved on you know and then he saw himself the next week like oh this is what I was doing. And so I know, I know he had to go, Oh, okay. Okay. This is a problem. This is a problem. If, if I did something like this and I got caught doing this, this is a problem. And he, he's not the only person that got into it with the coach. Don't get it twisted. You know, they might, they could put a little extra, a little extra sauce on it because of the race and the age and the, the, I get all that, but that's not for this video. Um, but some people have to see themselves like I, I've, 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 I've been fortunate enough to see a few people either catch themselves in the act at the moment and go, oh, that's me, or actually have to see themselves on camera and go, I thought, I, I thought it would happen like this and it didn't. It's like, no. No, it didn't happen like that. You made it something that it wasn't and you went over the top. And now when people tell you this is who you are and this is how you get down, you know, you're like, I'm not like that. It's not this. And then you see it for yourself or you actually have like a, a moment of clarity where you see yourself go, oh, this is what they talking about. You know, sometimes it's a, it's very, it's a good thing when that happens, but uh some people they can go through decades not seeing it you get what i'm saying so that, that situation gets horrible um which means which is another thing it's all you point the finger at everybody else when it's you it's you but you got to see that it's you at a certain point um that's why I talk about like people go, what did I do? What did I do exactly? When did I do it? Sometimes you got to, like some of these people, you got to run down everything they did for them to go, oh, I did do all of that. Oh, and it's like, oh, okay. But when they catch themselves, it's a good thing. Now, the third thing that I, that, I, that I wanted to speak about was when he said he loved Coach Ball, which is cool. You know, people get into it. I get it. Um, the thing is, sometimes you can get into it because he can, he can admit he was wrong in this situation completely. Sometimes you can get into it with people and you're accustomed to saying whatever you feel or doing whatever you feel. And your feelings got in the way of ac the actual reality and you said something that you can't unsay. You did something that you can't undo. You get what I'm saying? So now, basically, it ain't gonna never be the same. No matter what you say or what you do, like yeah, you know. But and, and some people do that with multiple people over and over and over again. They say something, they do something, and, they, and it's like, bro, mm -mm, you crossed the line on that. You you know you crossed the line on that, and there ain't no coming back. And it's like, bro, but I you know I love you, yeah. Uh huh. And to, until and people don't believe it because your love and your respect. respect is predicated by your feelings. If your feelings change, you can hate. If your feelings change, you can disrespect. And then when your feelings get back in line, oh man, that was just a moment. It's like, nah, I'm, I'm sick of you and your moments. We done, fam. We done. And sometimes people gotta learn it the hard way. But you know, this is this is what happens when you don't respect authority and don't have and don't pay attention and think everything is about you and you don't pay attention to your surroundings and circumstances but i'm gonna leave it at that tell me what you think like share subscribe or die try and catch you on the next one peace Yo.
Welcome to the top of the universe. I'm gonna take you guys.